In this video, we're going to talk about what a vivid verb is, and we're also going to discuss how to complete this assignment. So first, let's talk about characteristics of a vivid verb. Vivid verbs are always in present tense, unless you're really writing a story that's in past tense, then it's more important to stay consistent, so you'd stay in past tense. But if you have a choice, keep them in present tense. They are very specific which helps our readers visualize. And they're also more interesting than the common boring verb. And finally, they're clever. So these are the type of verbs that you normally probably don't choose when you first write a piece. These are the type of verbs when you go back and revise a piece that you would choose to really make it fit the story and give your reader a picture. So if I have a verb like walk, that's not a vivid verb. A verb like Crawl creep would be more vivid. We have a verb like sing. That's not a vivid verb. That's a, just a common everyday verb. If I have a word like mutter, that's more vivid because it tells us exactly how the person is talking or scream. or whisper, or groan. Notice how all these verbs are more descriptive. So when you're writing this assignment, think about verbs that you can use that are very descriptive that will paint a picture in your reader's mind.